We do stories that expose wrongdoing and enable people to hold power to account. Since our launch in 2010, our small team of investigators has done stories that helped set the national agenda and bring about change. But this is not just about doing stories. We believe in being accurate and fair and advancing methods and standards. The beauty of working at Amabungane is that we have the luxury of time that we need to uncover sophisticated corruption and economic crime. It is about developing the best practice of investigative journalism. We work in an environment that is free from commercial pressures and free from the fierce competition of the daily news cycle. I love that my work speaks for and gives a voice to those who might otherwise be silenced. I do what I do because I want to know why certain things happen and go behind the scenes. So we want to know who is paying bribes, who's receiving bribes, who's stealing money, particularly from the public, and who's helping them to do that. And it's not just about us. We help other journalists practice and develop our field too. We present training workshops, we host fellows from across Southern Africa, and we support investigative centers that our alumni have set up in Botswana, Namibia, Lesotho, and Zambia. We lobby, campaign, and litigate for the information rights that are the lifeblood of our field, access to information, and media freedoms. Investigative journalism is key to open, accountable, and just democracy. But we cannot do it alone. The Gupta Leaks, our award-winning expose of South African state capture, involved collaborating with three other media groups and a data outfit. And in the end, we shared the leaks with journalists worldwide. None of this would be possible without the generosity of the public, our AMAB supporters. In our first year of crowdfunding, AMAB supporters contributed 11% towards our budget. In our second year, that number increased to 28%. Remember that we are a non-profit. If we can take it to over 50%, our future is secure. Amabungane, digging dung, fertilizing democracy.